Hey there, everybody, and welcome. My name is Rick Utzer here with Ergon Web, your home for old school Ergon reviews, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. And I'm here at the Gamo Squirrel Master Classic. And uh, while everybody is out in the woods uh, hunting and shooting squirrels, I'm back at the lodge having a lot of fun with a brand new air gun from Gamo. This is the Gamo Swarm Viper, and I'm trying to see, is it Swarm Viper or Viper Swarm? It says Swarm Viper, I'm gonna go with that. So this is the Gamo Swarm Viper Gen 3i. So what is this new gun? It looks a lot like a Gamo Maxim, but it has these really cool rubber insets. They really help with grip, and I mean like really help with grip. And this raised cheek piece makes it far more comfortable to shoot. All in all, it's just a really cool new iteration for Gamo. Um, we're gonna have to wait to get back to our main shooting range because I didn't bring my crony and trigger pull gauge and DB meter and all that stuff. We're gonna get to all that, but today, just wanna shoot some stuff. I've done a little bit of sighting in um, and it's pretty cool. I also wanna show a couple cool products that Gamo, uh, I hadn't seen these. Obviously, we've got the Gamo knockdown target that we know of and it's been obliterated because uh, the teams had to come sight in and they absolutely tore him up, but it's still working. Um, I also have these cool little, what's called the Gamo pizza box targets and they fold up and you have kind of two cool targets. We've got right now the squirrel up because uh, that's what we're shooting, but on the back side, you've got multiple bowls that you can shoot. These are really cool because they sort of stand up on their own. Now, I would, I would recommend putting some rocks or something heavy, actually like a little steel plate or something in the bottom would be really useful so that the wind doesn't blow it away. But you know, if you need something quick and easy to shoot, uh, to sight in your air gun or make sure you're on zero before you're out, you know, gonna go out hunting. These are pretty stinking cool. I've got some other targets that they gave me too, but I got no place to use them here. They're sort of screw in, hang up, all kinds of cool stuff. We'll do that when we get back to the ranch. We'll show you some of those cool things. So the big thing that is new for this year uh, with Gamo is their new Gen 3i magazine. Now, We've had the Gen 1, the Gen 2, and now the Gen 3, Gen 3i. The big difference here is that it's inertia driven. And what that means is that before, with the other iterations, after you fired, it would put a pellet, uh, excuse me, after you cocked the gun, it would automatically rotate. There'd be a pellet there again. So if you cocked the gun again accidentally, you could double feed. That can cause problems, it can cause jamming, it can cause complete malfunction, it can actually break the pellet pusher. So you don't wanna do that. So what they did is they created a magazine that didn't advance to the next pellet, there's an empty hole. When you fire the gun, it rocks the magazine and it actually then it advances to the next pellet. So that is pretty cool. 10 shot mag, we're gonna go ahead and load up our red fires here. Um, why am I shooting red fire pellets? Well. Guys, reality, man, they shoot good gamo guns. Uh, some of the other gamo ammo, a little questionable, but the red fire pellets in their brake barrels specifically really shoot well. All right, so let's go ahead and take some shots. We're gonna take some shots at our little paper target just to check our zero, and then we'll see how many times we can maybe hit that knockdown target in a row. It's, it's I was hitting it like pretty regularly earlier, but you never know. Now we're, we're on camera, so things, the physics change all of a sudden when you turn the camera on. Um, but we're shooting right at 19, 20 yards. I walked it off. It's about 19 and a half yards or so, which is a good backyard distance. These guns are really great for backyard shooting. They're quiet. They're not very, they're not super powerful, about 14 to 15 foot pounds. We'll, again, we'll test all that when we get back to the main range. Uh, back in Texas. But let's go ahead and get started. Beauty of this gun is it's so easy to cock. It is really gentle um, as compared to some of the other guns. And we're running Gamo's normal 3 to 9 by 40 scope. I've sighted this in again. Like I said, we're right around 19 yards. Um, let's see. I'm going to go for the center red bull on that squirrel and see what I hit. A little left. Let's try again. We've got a bunch of carpenter bees around. I hope they're friendly. I don't like big buzzy flying things. Here we go. 
Oh, that was a good shot. So let's do five shots on that bull, and then we'll do five shots on our knockdown squirrel and see how we do. Oh yeah. Okay. As you can see, just really nice gun. Super fun to shoot. Very accurate. This is right out of the box, guys. This has no time on it at all. getting hung up on my tag here. All right, one more. Then we'll move over to the knockdown target. There it is. I mean, all in the red, I will take it. All right, let's go to the knockdown. Let's see how we do. Flawless operation on these new mags to really, really like them. Okay. All right, now here's where, you know, the camera's rolling, physics, wind. I'm trying to make excuses now. Bear with me. There it is. All right, if you haven't seen these knockdown targets, they're so fun. Hey, hey there, boss man. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. We had the, uh, one of the owners here, the Sportsman's Lodge just pulled up. So because he's the owner, we just, yeah, we let him do his thing, right? All right, second shot on our squirrel. There it is. If you haven't seen these squirrels before, they're really cool, man. So I wouldn't hit them with like really powerful guns, but anything under 20 foot pounds, they hold up pretty well. You can reset them just by pulling the string, just super fun. All right, that was two shots, right? Oh, come on now. Let's try again. There it is. All right. One more. That must have been a bad pellet. I'm pretty sure. Couldn't have been a bad shooter. That never happens. Okay. There it is, all right. All right guys, that is it for the Gamo Swarm Viper Gen 3i. When I get back to the range in Texas, we're gonna definitely put this through its paces. Again, we'll get crony numbers, DB numbers, trigger pull, all of that stuff. We're gonna put a lot more pellets through it, test some other pellets, see what else may work. We got a lot planned for this guy and we'll see how well it holds up. But so far, I'm liking it. Just a really, really fun air gun. Guys, that's going to be it. My name is Rick Huster here with Airgun Web. Again, you're home for old school air gun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.